All right, yo, what up, guys? So today we're gonna be doing a Ling Guang showcase, and she is a speedy, AP manipulating, single target nuking unit, right? So with that being said, you're gonna want to build her fast. Um, her base speed is actually really fast too. It's at 106, which is uh, it's capped out with all the fastest characters in the game. So making her very fast should be slightly easy. Well, that's if you roll good relics. As far as relics, I do have all plus 12 except one that's plus 15 because I'm very limited on gold guys. And also, um, these relics I do have are not the best for her, but they're decent enough to get a showcase done. Before we move on, I'd appreciate if you guys subscribe to the channel. Help your boy get to a thousand subscribers. Like the video if you like the video. And share this around. I don't have enough crit uh, rate on her, so with this piece, I just made sure the main stat was attack bonus. I went with attack bonus and speed, of course. Uh, most of these relics uh, do have substats for speed, but it's not really much speed, so that's why I don't want to commit to these relics. But the substats I was looking for is speed and attack, because again, you want her to be fast and you want her to be able to do damage with some attack in there too. The reason why you want her to be fast, right, is because all her abilities, she scales off speed, right? Uh, the more speed she has, the more damage she does, except on her skill one. And let's just jump right into it since we're talking about her skill one. Bright Flames. Attacks one enemy two times. Each hit deals 6% attack damage. Each hit grants Vermilion Bird 15% AP. So what this means is um, every hit she does since she attacks twice, she can push herself 30% up forward by herself. That's basically Unis' ult in her first ability, which is huge, right? So when she goes and she, uh, hits you twice, she will get that plus uh, 30%. Um, so she'll be, be skipping so much. Now, another thing to take note is I do have um, fully Abilamond out, right? So uh, that's one thing to take into consideration because if you do get her fully Abilamond out, you'll get the plus 15 per hit, which equals to 30 um so then her second ability is one of the abilities that i was talking about that scales off speed fetching fire uh attacks an enemy two times each hit deals 90 percent attack damage each, each speed grants extra damage equal to 0.60 percent of her attack like i said um each hit steals one buff from the enemy so basically she can take up to two buffs um since she's hitting uh, you twice upon successfully stealing extend own buffs by one turn triggered once per turn which is very nice. Um, so whatever buffs you had prior or whatever buffs you're stealing, I believe I've been playtesting her a bit. I've noticed that when you do steal the uh, buff, you actually increase the cooldowns on the buffs that you stole and the existing buffs you already have, which is a great, great ability. Also does decent damage, skills off speed and her attack. So yeah, that's a really good ability right there. And now one of her best abilities um, is dazzling sunfire which is her ultimate increases all allies ap by 15 percent attacks one enemy three times each hit deals 60 percent attack damage each speed grants extra damage equal to 0.33 percent of attack so again you want to give her a lot of speed because she scales off speed very well this is her single target uh, hard hitting multi hitting ability um and it also has support ability by pushing her allies up which is great, right? So you have a single target pseudo nuker, I would say. That also adds supportability. And she's so fast, she's gonna be taking turns and pushing herself up that it's, she's, like I said, she's gonna be having a lot of turns. Only downside is, is that she's quite squishy, probably because I don't have her uh, plus 15 on all her gear, but I am running her on speed counter. The reason why I'm running her on speed counter is because when she does take a, an attack and she counters back and she hits someone, that counts as her skill one activating. So she's going to push herself up by 30%, which is beautiful, right? So that is great. Um, we're going to go ahead and test her out here. Warm up matches, which should be pretty fun. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, I do have her at level 50 currently because I do not have the, uh, the resources to get her to 60 currently. But I will be working towards getting her to 60 because I really do like this Esper and I see a lot of a lot of potential in her. I do like to pair her with Dahlia because Dahlia pushes her and then she can extend those, the Dahlia buffs that she has on her. And also helps her with her uh, nuking ability, right? So that's really good. Okay, so I did get the first turn. We're going to push. And we did go first here. We have the ability to take someone out. And I'm going to try to take out this uh, Long Mion and push my team up while doing it all right we did 12k which is not too bad but if i do give him the turn he will um 
he will freeze my teammates i don't want that so i'm gonna try to take him out here and we did it oh the bleeds did take him out so that's really good and now what we're gonna do is we are going to try to take out this Leling, right? The Leling is very, very dangerous. So let's go ahead and try to do that and go back into stealth. And we took him out. Nice. And uh, so the Chloe is up next. And so is the Lewis. They're pretty close. Uh, the, the Chloe's the biggest threat, to be honest. I'm going to... He's probably going to take someone out. Uh, okay, so... Um, we were fast enough to go ahead and just skip the... Oh, he didn't crit, so he didn't take uh, get another turn unfortunate so we're gonna do our skill two here to try to steal that and extend our current buffs so we're gonna do this right uh we didn't get no defense down uh we're gonna go ahead and try to stun him we didn't get the stun uh we should be good though she does have the sp speed down so let's take out the lewis go back into stealth and let's go ahead and hit her and we're gonna push up to here and that's the first match yeah so i forgot to mention you do want accuracy to in there on your subsets you want speed attack and some accuracy for the stealing of her buffs go ahead and try her out here in point war uh so let's go ahead and push this is point war rank 12 right so should be a decent match uh let's go ahead and ta uh we do have to get rid of this ollie first let's damage him up okay we all, we one shot him but that ollie was level 51 so it looks like they just got him right so i think uh, it would have probably took him down to half health but we do have some nice defense downs we can actually finish this off with an uh attack an all-out attack by the ling and that should be it and since she attacked there she's gonna push her, her uh, herself up by 30 percent because she's in her skill one which is really good so that's uh the first match here in point war let's go ahead and try it one more time Okay, we got the next round, and uh, we were be, we were the faster team, so we're gonna push. See if we can try to get in front of them. We did. Um, so now we got her to go first with the attack and crit buff by Dahlia. So we're gonna try to take someone out, right? And that someone is their Dahlia. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, we didn't. She's very tanky. So we're gonna go ahead and ult with White Tiger, put them deep buffs on them, and just ult with Leling because we got a lot of defense downs, and they should be out. Um, so as you can see, this team is like very AP push oriented with TA, Dahlia, and uh, Ling Guang, which she's actually very good at, and uh, also doing that extra damage. She's that's why, and I'm just gonna squeeze this in there so you guys can see me get wrecked by someone that has Jiang Julie, right? <laughs> God. I guys busted but if we play around him right I think we can win maybe uh okay so let's go ahead and uh attack the Sali okay 18k not bad and uh we're gonna go ahead and apply those debuffs on him which is beautiful and now we can actually take out the Ali and uh okay we took out okay now he's gonna buff okay so this is bad news he's in his berserk mode but we are gonna freeze this uh this chick um we're gonna try to um lay him, manipulate him and push back and we're gonna try to steal this last stand buff to be honest i want to try to take it from him uh okay we did get it and we were able to kill him because of that uh so yeah she's actually really good oh my god like, that was amazing against that guy. And we got the win. Honestly, I thought we were going to lose that one. I didn't think we were going to win that, but... Sheesh! We got it. That was a really good move. She extended all the buffs that Dahlia gave her. She stole the buff, right? And extended that buff. That last stand, now she has it for two, two turns, which is insane, dude. Insane. But I hope you guys enjoyed the Lingguan showcase. I'm again, I don't have the best relics on her, but I did want to show her like how she is sort of used like as a supportive offensive uh kind of like character, right? Um and she's very good, uh, especially when you pair her with Dahlia. They go hand in hand together in point war in uh ranked in uh, RTA2, she's also very good. But like I said, it all comes down to getting those good relics. This is the best Ling Guang showcase I can do currently right now with the current relics I have. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But leave a comment down below what you guys think about Ling Guang's kit overall. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next one. It's your boy Jada. I'm out. Peace.